everybody. The angels are singing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. Yay. I don't know how to pull it out of here, though. Kind of exciting. To all my stitchy friends, welcome back to my channel. My channel is Sam Bree Stitches. My name is Becca. Um, today is March 4th, and this is floss tube number 19. And there go my dogs, <laughs> they are outside, and of course, they're gonna start barking as soon as I start recording. Um, anyways, if you are new to my channel, welcome. This is a channel all about cross stitch, um, and sometimes I make red garlands and stuff like that, which I am behind on. Um, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe, leave comments. Um, I love reading the comments and trying to reply to everybody. And if you're returning, thank you. You guys know that I appreciate you um, from the bottom of my heart. Uh, you guys are just like family to me. So thank you. We are going to get right into it. Um, I inserted an opening video, so I know a few of you are probably super excited. Um, I did a thing <laughs> uh, with help from um, Jennifer. She is in my Monday night meetup group. Um, she had me bring it to our meetup this past Monday and I unboxed it and I learned how to use it. She's an amazing teacher, very patient. Um, so I did it. Um, and there'll be more to come on that, but thank you so much, Jennifer. And to the rest of my meetup group, um, they've been giving me tips and tricks, Vicki and Melissa, and you guys all just gave me amazing pointers to practice on, um, but it is out and being used, which is exciting. Oh, <laughs> I'm looking at my notes. I keep looking down at my notes because uh, we named it. Um, my sewing machine is a boy and his name is Mr. Gray uh, because he is gray. Um, and that is for Jennifer because she helped me name him. So hopefully that brings a smile to your face. Um, but yeah, Mr. Gray. So hopefully he does everything that I need him to do um, and doesn't mess things up because I'll have a story for that in a, in a little bit. So I'm going to insert um, another video from the meetup that Jennifer recorded and you can hear some of the my stitchy group members cheering in the background. Um, so I'll enter that here. And so what you just saw was <clears throat> me running it on a scrap piece of fabric um, after Jennifer showed me how to thread it and get it all set up and how to, you know, how to basically do everything. So it's a lot easier than I thought it was. Um, the previous sewing machine that um, a friend had given me was an older one, so it didn't have like instructions and my new one has like numbered sections on where you just take the thread through. So it was so much easier. Um, so I'm not scared of it anymore. Uh, doesn't mean I'm gonna be making quilts anytime soon, but I did make something with it. All right, so I am going to show actually what I made with my sewing machine yesterday and I kept sending pictures to my stitching group. Um, I'll insert the picture of it sewn with the sewing machine. And I will say that I learned how to frog stitches 
from the sewing machine because I could not get the line straight. And you guys know me, I normally hand sew my pillow. So when I hand sew, it is perfect. It's perfectly straight. There is no messing it up. With the sewing machine, like it, it was just off. And luckily the way that I finished it, I don't think you can really tell. Um, and I can only get better. So this is my first one and I didn't want to, I didn't want to fix it. I didn't want to, well, I did correct it. I ripped them out and then I kind of made it a little bit straighter, but I didn't want to go back and hand sew it, but cause it's still kind of driving me crazy, but it's done. So drum roll, here it is. This was made with the sewing machine. So this is the spring freebie, I think from the Stitcher hood. I just left off the top, um, I think it was like a sun or something. Um, and then this is the back of it. And basically what I did was what I usually do with my hand sewing. Um, I just sewed all the way around and then I cut open the back here to flip it through to the outside and then, you know, you just cover it up. Um, but yeah, like it doesn't look super wonky at all. I am so, so proud of myself. My husband was watching me use the sewing machine last night. I think he was thrilled that I finally, I don't even know after how many months of it sitting brand new in the box that I finally opened it and I was running it. I waited until he got home, um, to do it so that he could see it. But you guys, I am so, so proud of this. And thank you so much um, to everybody who had offered to help me learn how to sew. Um, I appreciate it. Uh, this is it. This is my finish with my sewing machine. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> Just super proud of myself. All right, I do have a previous um, FFO. I think I, I didn't bring up the pattern. I think I may have showed it. It might be a little house needleworks. Um, but it's kind of, it's a springish garden theme. And I don't even know what count it's on. But of course it's on sticky board. And the cool thing is, of course I got this from um, Goodwill. And this, let me unclip it so I can show you what's behind it. Um, this was just a decor piece, chicken wire, and it says, I mean, it's a cool piece without having cross stitch on it. Um, so I just took two little clothespins and then there it is up close. I love this one. So sticky board, mounted the cross stitch on it then did another sticky board with the fabric. This is the back so you guys can see. Like, that's all I do. Hot glue. Erin, I hot glue my fabric too. So, I have no shame in it. It turns out fine, corners are beautiful. And then I just did a little bit of twine around the, the edges. So, so yeah, that was my previous finish. Sorry for the dogs again. I know people have messaged me and say that it sets off their dog, so I apologize, but it's either they're in here making noises or they're out there barking, so. All right, I have quite a few whips. I am also gonna talk and tell stories throughout it as well, and I am going to show the finishing pieces that I have set aside for uh, my whips that I'm doing because I think every single one of them has a finishing piece that I have already set aside. Um, so we're just going to start off with, I joke that this is the bane of my existence. These patterns are awesome, but for some reason I cannot get into stitching them. Um, I don't know why, but it's the hands-on design year celebrations. This is the sal that I'm doing with Brandy at Be Stitch Me. And this, I think, is on 16 count de Bloom from Picture This Plus. And this has become like my car stitching. So when I go sit a half hour in the car, uh, high school line to pick up my daughter and a half hour waiting at the ferry so I can get a parking space, I get some time in on this. Um, and then the finishing piece for this 
is this. Um, I've taken off February and it's sitting on a display like this, so it's super awesome. But it's just gonna stick right on there. So that's the finishing piece for all of my year of celebration um, pieces. I really, really need to get my stuff done because I'm getting stressed that I am behind on all of my spring pieces because I've already got my decor out. Okay, the next one, you guys, I am super, 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 super proud of. Um, it is my unicorn chart. And this is in a Christine Stitch All The Things bag. I'm gonna show my bags because I haven't done that in a while. Isn't that beautiful? This is my uh, second one by her. This last one was from Anna at Stitch Toolbox. Um, it's got clovers on the inside. Love this bag. So I'll start showing those. Okay, so this next one is my unicorn chart. And y'all heard the story about claiming it on Valentine's Day and the casino paying for it. So there she is. And I started her, this was my leap day start because I ended up getting her, it was supposed to be Snow Queen, but the floss didn't come in from Acorns and Threads in time anyway, so this worked out. So there is my start. Of course, the Marine Corps uh, needle minder. This fabric, you guys, I've shown it. This is from Brandy at Be Stitch Me. If y'all want to do a drinking game, every time that I say Brandy and Anna, y'all should take a drink because it'd be a fun video. Um, this was a custom piece that I had requested. Um, and people were interested and I messaged Brandy and she said she would love to uh, make it. It is hand painted, so it is a little bit more time consuming. Um, and she can do different levels, like mine is darker. I think my sister got a piece for her Suffragette and it's a lot lighter. The colors are a lot lighter. Um, so she will do that as a custom piece. You just have to message her. This is 18 count patriotic is what it's called. Um, and while I have this out, I was thinking, and it's so funny that my friend Melissa from my stitching group had texted me yesterday um, evening about this too, because I was watching Floss Tube and everybody was talking about dark October stitching on the 13th and the 31st, uh, Mary 25 stitching for Christmas, and now we have our leap day starts that we're going to do on the 29th of each month. So why? do we not have a patriotic fourth stitching? So here's the thing. If you guys are interested in joining me on the fourth of every month, I mean, I'm gonna stitch on this more, but at least on the fourth of every month, we do some sort of patriotic stitching. It could be Americana, patriotic, you know, anything like that. Um, and then hashtag it patriotic the number four TH stitching, and I'll put that down below. I'm gonna do it, Melissa's gonna do it because we were chatting about it and it was so funny on the same day that we came up with that idea. Um, and then we kind of went through some different hashtags and picked that one. So if you guys wanna join us, any patriotic piece on the fourth of every month. So that way we can just get more pieces going. Um, I thought that would be fun, so. And the next piece, of course, is my husband's Elks. So I did not get as much stitching in on this as I had hoped um, because for my Lady of the Flag, I had a little bit of a an issue. I think it was Friday night because Saturday was leap day. So Friday night, um, I'm freaking out because I'm trying to, this is my first time doing a large piece that actually has to be placed on the fabric, if that makes sense. I do a lot of smalls and then the full coverage piece is super easy. You could just start on the top left. So I'm trying to figure it out and the stitch count that I got online before I had gotten the pattern that I gave to Brandy for the fabric size was wrong. 
So I'm freaking out trying to figure out if I have enough fabric, blowing up my group chat with my Monday night stitching group. Um, Amy from the group actually ends up calling me via messenger to calm me down and talk me through everything. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty funny. Um, and I appreciate it so much. And so I just did a small little start on leap day just in case the fabric wasn't enough. And then at the Monday night meetup this past Monday, uh, Jennifer actually counted uh, for me and discovered that I would have enough space. So I stitched a little bit more on it yesterday. So there were, f I think I only stitched four out of the seven days on the Elks. I mean, I never stitch on it on Sundays anyways. Um, this is a random bag that I got off of the stash site. I figured it would be perfect for the Elks because it's, oh, there's a glare, but there's moose and then the back is just like leaves and trees and stuff. Um, so here you can see, oh wow. I try to take a picture every night so that I can actually look at it and see it like it's supposed to. Cause you know, stitching all you see is X's. Hey Aaron, elk booty, that's coming in. Wow, that's so cool. You can see the trees. Um, so right now on this, I was previously, previously at 7,488 stitches out of 82,800. Um, and that was a 7.81%. And working on it four nights, I got to 8,412 stitches and I'm at 10.16%. So I got under 1,000 stitches. I think it's like 924 stitches. Um, but I only work on this for an hour, hour and a half in the evening. So gosh, look at that. I'm so excited that this is turning out. I was so nervous that it just wasn't gonna be a good pattern. And you know, that would break my husband's heart. I don't have a finishing piece for that. Did I show, and I don't have a finishing piece for Lady of the Flag cause I'm gonna get it custom framed. All right, so this was a new start. I think I started this also on leap day. Shepherd's Bush eggs. I'm debating on whether I'm gonna leave the eggs for Easter up at the top or just do the eggs, I'm not sure. Um, <coughs> and this is on 18 count earth from Be Stitch Me. So I got the basket done. Okay, so this is pretty true to color. It's like a sky blue and it has like a little bit of brownish cream in it. My finishing piece for this is this. So it's gonna go in here and the blue matches the blue eggs and then the little creamish color matches the little creamish eggs in there. So that pattern is going to look so cute in this wreath. And I got this at TJ Maxx, or no Marshalls, just kidding, um, for 13. Um, I know Michael's has one similar to this and I saw the price tag was 25, but I know that they have like a 40% off coupon. So if you can't find it at Marshall's or something similar, um, at Michael's. Okay. Next one, you guys know it and you have seen it every time. This is the Christmas piece that I've decided to continue to work on and put the other ones aside for a bit. So this is Waxing Moon, Search the Sky. This is my uh, stitch along with Anna from Stitch Roadie. And, oh, I did it again. I meant to take out, there it goes. Oh, every time it falls apart, it's so funny. Um, so this is where I'm at. So I added the rest of the words and I started to work on the reindeer. So it's coming along. This is on 18 count at uh, Opal Night Sky. This was also a custom order that she has decided to continue and a lot of people have been ordering it. And this is in my second Christine Stitch All The Things bag. I love her bag so much. 
hopefully I can be able to snag a patriotic one. I want a big patriotic one because that's what I want to put my Lady of the Flag in because these hold the larger uh, Q-snaps. Um, and that's what I need. Um, so there's that one. We're still going. Um, and of course, you know, that was going to go on. I've shown this before. The Search the Sky is going to go on that. I'm trying to stay somewhat organized on everything. Okay. The next one is Spring ABCs. I am so behind. All right. And I took this off of the Q-snap because I got a little bit further. So... There's where I'm at. And I'll insert a picture of where this is gonna go because right now I still have a uh, winter up. And then this is in my bag from Anna. It's Stitch Toolbox. And it's got a little owl. I love owls so much. So it's in there just because I don't care if it's autumn. It's owls, I'm gonna use it year round. And so that I'll show you a picture of where I'm going to finish it. This is Hello Spring by Plum Street. Um, that last one, I don't know if I said the fabric, the it's 18 count sea salt is what the um, spring ABCs are. Sorry, I'm forgetting things. All right, this one's on 18 count granite from Brandy at Be Stitch Me. And this is where I'm at. So I got some of the vines done and I'm gonna start on the flowers. I'm loving this on this fabric. It's gorgeous. And it lives in my Anna Stitch Toolbox custom Bigfoot bag that she made me. Because, you know, Pacific Northwest, you have to have Bigfoot bags or Bigfoot anything. All right. And then last but not least, this is my Oxing Moon Designs Spring Stack. And I will insert a picture of where this will be um, displayed because my winter stack is still out. This is on 18 count twinkle from Brandy at Be Stitch Me. And look, you guys, all I have left is this fill-in of three fence panels. That is it. I took this to work this last weekend and did the three fence panels on my breaks and my lunches. And you'd think it would go quickly, but it doesn't. It's like never ending. But look how cute this is. Look at that bonnie. This is so cute. And that needle minder is from my Anna as well. Um, and this lives inside a bag that I got from Trish at Threads and Find. I had to claim it because it was all purple. It's beautiful. And it has like a little tree of life. It's so gorgeous. She makes amazing bags as well. So, okay. That was all my whips. I can't believe, you know, every time I say that I don't think that I have stitched on that much, but I have, and that's good, but I feel like I need to start finishing some things. It's getting a little stressful. Um, all right. So I'm going to, I don't have much haul. I'm going to show, I just had two things. So this I've claimed off of the stash site. It's Crow's Corner, and I love it so much. I may start this um, on the 13th. Because I really, really want to stitch it. It's by the Scarlet House. I mean, it's got an owl. It's got squirrels. It's got crows. I mean, this could be kind of an... It's fall, October, so it's not Halloween, but I may start it. All right, and this. I got such a good deal on. So this I got off a of stash site. It's called Red, White, and Blue by Samsara Designs. It came with the buttons. Is that not gorgeous? 
This is my next patriotic piece that I want to stitch up. That's just gorgeous. I love it. But it came with the buttons. Y'all know me. I'm not going to stitch this. This might get passed on at some point when I stitch it. But it was already started on the linen. I mean, it's gorgeous. But I'll just restart on uh, Ada. I'm not going to try. Not only did it come with that, it also came with the Weeks Dye Works. I mean, some of them are used, obviously, but yes, they're a jumbled mess because I haven't gotten them out. But yeah, it came with a whole bunch and shipping was included. I mean, it was super cheap. So I'm excited for that. We got very lucky claiming that. So that was my stitchy haul. Okay, just want to pop in a little quick video. I had gone to get the mail um, and noticed that I had a sweet little card here. And it's a thank you card from Daylene. So thank you so much, Daylene. I'm so glad that you love the It's You I Like that I stitched for you. Um, it means a lot to me that you have it in a special place. So thank you so much. Love the card. I love getting cards in the mail and don't have to send thank you cards or anything like that, but it means a lot. So just wanted to say thank you since I got it just as I was editing my video. So thanks, Daylene. Um, I didn't really find anything at Goodwill, um, but I did hit Home Goods and uh, Joann's. I got like some socks. So this pair I haven't worn yet. I had to get for me because they're owls and it's Irish and I've got Irish in me. So I bought those. Um, if I have the picture, I'll show the picture of the crafting socks that I bought too, but and insert them. Um, but Home Goods, I had gone to see if they had any St. Patrick's Ray Dunn, which they don't yet. It should be any time now. But I could not pass this up. Sam. My oldest daughter's name is Samantha, so I bought her a Sam Ray Dunn mug. So, she loves it. So, I got that. And then, I got two decor pieces. One I got from Home Goods, and the other, I believe, I got from Michael's, I want to say. Um, oh. Wait a second. I had a... Um, Oh, that bunny one that I showed. Did I show this one? I did not show this one. I skipped it. Well, we're going to go back and show you another whip because I skipped it. Um, Waxling Moon Designs. And this is bunnies here, bunnies there. Um, this is on 18 count yellow pastel from Brandy at Be Stitch Me. Using my own, oops, using my own colors. And this is going to go on this that I got from the dollar store, and it's just going to cover up Happy Easter. Can't believe I missed a, a whip. That was weird. Um, and this is also in a bag from Anna. That's the toolbox. Obviously, I don't stick with the seasons. I just kind of use the bags because I don't have... A lot of generic bags, I guess. Okay, so now I don't know how I missed that. Sorry, scattered again. I'm always scattered and I have notes. Okay, so now this little basket I got from Home Goods. And I will insert a picture of the pattern. I'm going to do Priscilla and Chelsea's, um, like it's Peep, the little chicken pattern. I'm going to make a little pillow or a little flat piece and display it just propped up in here because it's it'll end up tiny on like 18 count but I thought this was so cute and it's so springy so that was home goods and then this one I believe I got from either Michael's or Joann's um and I'm going to stitch Priscilla and Chelsea's crunch but I'm going to change the word crunch to hop and it should be small enough to fit in here. I did the measurements. So those are the two finishing pieces I 
picked up. Um, I have at least three to four more spring pieces that I want to get completed on top of all the whips that I have. So wish me luck. Okay, so I did all that. Mellow yellow. It's one of my favorites. I am going to show kind of like a, you know how I do pattern parades. Well, this is kind of an assortment of patterns that are just for me, which are owl themed uh, patterns that I want someday to stitch for my husband on top of what I'm working on um, and both of my daughters. Um, this one is just in here because it represents us. I got this from Goodwill. Um, it's from Kind of Stitch Works, but I mean, it's Multnomah Falls, and it's a full kit. So I couldn't leave that there because, I mean, I grew up in Portland, Oregon, and we've gone to Multnomah Falls many times. So I love that. And then this one I also found at Goodwill, um, but the regular price takes us about $20, um, and it's kind of bent, but... I couldn't leave that there. Statue of Liberty. And it's a kit. So. Um, and then we're into the patterns, obviously, that I have for my husband, Patriotic. So this I want to do on Brandy's uh, camo Ada that I have. And I want to get this done for my husband's birthday, which is in November. So hopefully. Um, this one I bought years and years and years ago. The copyright is 2006. I'm pretty sure I got it off of eBay. It's Nomad Designs, but it's a full coverage piece. And I had started this, um, but I got really, really bored. I think I bought it back in 2006 when he was deployed to um, Fallujah, Iraq. And that's when I did that other full coverage piece that I had shown. Um, and then I started this one, but I got really burnt out with all the black. So maybe I'll restart it. And um, this one is proud to have served um, retired Marine. So I got that one. Of course, this I think I got off a of Goodwill, a Goodwill, Iwo Jima. Um, it, this is designed by Inez Long of Brittany Inspirations. But I thought it was really neat. This is a Bobby G design by Barbara Smith, America. Uh, Cody Country Cross Stitch and Crafts. Say that 50 times. Um, American Pride. Another full coverage. The only thing that sucks for these full coverages. Well, this is because it's not a PDF, so I can't put it into Pattern Keeper, so I'll probably never stitch it. This I found at Goodwill, Leisure Arts Liberty House. I'm not sure if I'll ever stitch it, but I love it. Oops, stuff fell. So that's really cute. Um, this one's pretty destroyed, but I couldn't leave it below, behind. Um, also from Goodwill, Leisure Arts. Uh, there they go again. Um, and this one's called Liberty Angel. This is a Jan Lynn kit. Um, apparently I got it from Goodwill as well. Uh, God bless America, because there's a Goodwill tag on it. And it's a full kit. Um, American's Guardian Angel. This is from Cody Country Cross Stitch. It's another kit. Black Ada. So those are the um, Marine Corps pa patriotic pieces that I have set aside for my husband. Um, these are just random ones that I don't have a spot for, but post stitches. This is Sue Hillis Designs. This is so cute. I got it, but then, so I like to stitch pieces that I will display. And I'm not sure, I guess I would display that maybe in my stitchy area, who knows. Um, totally me, burnt to perfection. That's why my husband does all the cooking. Um, Glendon Place, ooh, Outrageous Owls. 
And I guess it has the floss, but no fabric. I don't know where I got this from, but it's owls, so I couldn't leave it behind. Um, this is a kit from Ver Ver Vervacho. Ver I don't even know how to say it. Um, I think I got this. This is Hobby Lobby. It was on clearance. And then it's just a kit. And then this is Soda Stitch. The Owl Family. It's for them. Four of us. A Few Hoots by Ursula Michael. So cute. Um, I stitched this one up already. I have it downstairs. Uh, Stony Creek, Wise Wisdom. I think I need to refinish it though because the frame job was really bad. I stitched it years ago. Hands on Design, Owl Love. Um, the Work Basket, Owl Forest. And then still for me that I really, really want to stitch is um, I got this straight from Essie from Waxing Moon Designs. It's old Raggedy Ann. I mean, there's a glare. Dang, there's so much glare today. It says, I'm just an old Raggedy Ann in a Barbie doll world. Love it. Um, and then this was just a random one um, I stitched for a friend's mom who was going through some medical stuff outrageous and strong it's a beautiful beautiful pillow by needle bling designs um and then my girl bendy stitchy i have this stitched up i can't remember if i've shown it yet or not um but i have this in my special uh area um with all my other stuff and she signed it at the top this will always be special to me because no michelle was signing this that's what it was at first thursday michelle was signing this and she was bent over on the table and christine stitched all the things and i had our first awkward hug over the back of michelle bendy while she was signing this it was pretty cool um and then another michelle bendy pattern that i really need to stitch because i fell in love with this stitch always i love all her patterns so much um, this I got off a stash site and it's laminated, which is really weird. And somebody told me it was out of print. I haven't done any research on it, but it says just for today from Primitive Traditions. And it says, think deeply, speak gently, love much, laugh a lot, work hard, give freely, and be kind. It's beautiful. And then stitching notes from Shepherd's Bush. I love all these notes, the note line from Shepherd's Bush. And then for my youngest daughter, she loves penguins and Mulan. Most of my stuff is PDFs, but I did buy this from Acorns and Threads. We met the designer um, and we actually, that was the day that Brie came with me to, to First Thursday. So she picked this one out. Uh, the designer does have a few different ones. Um, but this one's called Starlight, and it's just a couple small little penguins. Cross Stitch Sanctuary is the designer. So I need to stitch that. And then for Brie also is Mulan. That is her favorite Disney princess. Um, and then for my oldest daughter, I've been collecting things for a while. So it may look a little unfair, but there's not a whole lot of Mulan and penguin patterns that aren't Christmassy or normal. Um, so I got Blackbird Designs because my oldest daughter loves flowers and roses. So this one is my pink rose. Um, I have Little House Needle Works music and books. This is kind of for both of my girls because they love music and reading, which is awesome. Um, Little House Needleworks, The Bookshelf, again, both of my girls. This is for my oldest daughter. We bought this so long ago at Hobby Lobby, um, but I have the mini kit 
of Beauty and the Beast. And it's just sealed. I probably will never stitch this, but it'll be a good collector's piece um, just to pass down to her. And of course I had to get Soda Stitch Beauty and the Beast. I wonder if they have a Mulan. I don't see it on the back. I'm gonna have to do some research and see if they have any a Mulan one. So I'll need to get that. Um, I don't know how to, Grill Point Decroix. I don't even know. I guess that's who designed this. But a Beauty and the Beast for my oldest. And then my last one, which I'll probably never stitch because it's ginormous, um, is Beauty and the Beast. It's gorgeous, but it's not a PDF. Um, and I'm not sure who it's by. Victoria Ivchenko86 is the email at the bottom, but I don't know. But it is, it's pretty, it's really pretty. But it's like 195 by 218 and 54 colors. I don't know. I think we have established that there are patterns that we stitch and patterns that we collect. And some of these are just collecting because uh, that's what we do. Okay, so that was my pattern parade. Um, I want to talk about my uh, Facebook uh, group, our Monday Night Kits app, Cross Stitchers. Um, we had a little discussion and to make things easier for people who don't always attend or want to come up and, and hang out with us, um, what we're doing is I've decided that the first Monday of every month will be a fully finished object night, FFO night. Um, so anybody who wants, you know, help or input, um, bring your supplies, um, and then we will do some FFOing. Um, if you don't have any, you can still stitch and hang out, but we will be starting an hour earlier. So we'll start at four to 8.30 on the first Monday of every month. The second Monday will be normal. It's five to 8.30 at Michael's in the classroom, right to the right of the entrance. Um, the third Monday of every month, we will be doing lunch. Um, I don't know exactly if we've decided on a restaurant. Um, I think we like Blazing Onion um, and they seem to accommodate us pretty well. Um, so we will do the third Monday of every month. We'll start at about 2.30 at the restaurant. We hang out, eat. Um, if there's time in between, we grab coffee or some of us go to Marshall's or Home Goods since it's up in the area. Um, and then we go to Michael's for our meetup and that ends at 8.30. And then the fourth Monday will just be a standard meetup um, or the fifth, if there's five, whatever. Um, so that's that's the changes, kind of help to make it set a little bit so that people can figure out their schedules and when they want to come and what they want to do. So I figured that would be easier for everybody. So I posted it in our group and the link will be down below in the notes. Um, anybody is welcome, even if you don't stitch, if you knit, crochet, whatever. Um, Y'all are welcome. We're, we're a fun bunch. Sometimes we bring snacks, food and drinks are welcome. Um, it's pretty fun. So that is the um, Facebook group. And then um, I wanted to talk about my subscribers. I am almost at 700, so I still have a little ways to go until I hit a thousand, but I am trying to get everything set um, for when I reach a thousand. And I think I talked about this a little bit in my last video. Um, I have reached out to uh, a few of my friends who have their own Etsy shops um, because what I want to do is I wanted to purchase, no Etsy or Instagram, however they sell their items. Um, I wanted to purchase something from them to give away to you guys so that it helps my friends. It also gets the word out um, in the video um, and everybody kind of wins. Well, the majority of my friends that I've reached out to refuse to let me buy anything. They're donating, which is 
absolutely amazing. And I am just floored um, at how, how supportive they are. Um, so with that being said, I still have about 300 subscribers to go. So if you guys don't mind sharing, telling your friends, talking about me, however you want, so we can get to that um, point because I'm really excited. They're, my friends are a very, very talented group. I, I'm just super excited. So they'll probably be uh, there'll probably be several giveaways because I'm not going to do one big bundle. I want multiple subscribers to win. Um, so, and I might make something too. So we'll see. But yeah, so just share, help me out. Just a little over 300 left to go. Um, so I appreciate you guys and I appreciate your support. And don't forget about patriotic fourth stitching. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, because, you know, my husband's a retired Marine, so we're super patriotic. So, of course, I'm going to stitch patriotic. And I just think that, you know, it goes along with all the other hashtags that we've made for, um, you know, the month for different holidays. So, so let me know what you think on that. And I think that is it. I think I have talked for 45 minutes. Wow, that's pretty pretty standard length video for me. Um, so, I just want to thank everybody. Um, so much. You guys know how much I appreciate you. You are my stitchy family um, and my stitchy tribe, my Kitsap cross stitchers and my acorns and thread stitchers, but my Kitsap cross stitcher family, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for the support, for putting up with my freak outs <laughs> this past week over the fabric. Thank you for getting me to get my sewing machine out of the box and for being so supportive of my first finish. They were so excited for me in the group chat because they're, um, my stitching group, we have a, a group message chat on Facebook. And so them, they're one of the first people that I send my, my finishes to because I just, you know, I like their feedback. I love their support. And then of course my sister, cause my sister stitches. Um, and my oldest daughter. So those are the three that usually get my stuff. Um, they get to see it um, as I'm doing it. And I, I just love the support that they give me. So thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for just being there for me and for being my Stitchy tribe. Um, you guys are amazing. And I look forward to Monday night so very much every week. And I look forward to First Thursday every month down at Acorns. I will not be going tomorrow um, because I believe uh, Jennifer and Sam, my daughter, and I will be doing a girl's day on the 13th and we're gonna go down um, to market day at Acorns. Uh, I pre-ordered quite a few patterns um, and I think we're gonna hit some other stores along the way back. So I, couldn't make two, three plus hour trips down. So I will miss you guys so very much, but I will be there in April and you'll have a few of uh, my kids out stitching uh, members coming down tomorrow anyways. So have a great time tomorrow. I will miss you guys. Thank you everybody who's watching. Um, and until I see you next week, happy stitching.